Hi everyone and welcome to Cruiseful. For today's video, we'll be going over Disney Cruise Line's newest ship, The Wish. We've already compared Disney's four other ships, so we'll see what the new Wish ship offers. Similar to the other two Dream Class ships, The Wish also has 1,250 cabins and can carry up to 4,000 passengers and over 1,400 crew members. It also offers the four levels of staterooms, indoor, ocean view, veranda, and concierge, but what's new is that they are offering more high-level staterooms, and instead of two royal suites, they are now offering four. This will also be the first time that two of the royal suites will offer two levels, as well as the first cabin over the bridge, which will allow you to have the same view as the captain. As for dining and entertainment, Disney utilized the new IP they acquired with Marvel and Star Wars themed restaurants and lounges. For the dining rotational, not only will there be two new restaurants, but the dining experience is meant to be more immersive. Arendelle is a frozen themed dinner show which will include musical performances, while World of Marvel will be an interactive dinner show where guests can partake in adventure missions. For adults only dining, Paolo makes an upgraded dinner return, but not only will it offer its traditional Italian fare, but it has been updated to a steakhouse as well. The new Beauty and the Beast inspired adult only restaurant Enchante will also be available and from the name of it, it looks like it will offer French cuisine. Speaking of adults, if you're a fan of Star Wars, get ready for Hyperspace Lounge, which will offer views of foreign planets as well as out of this world cocktails. We also can't forget the kids. Oceaneer Club will make its return, but what's new is the Marvel Superhero Academy. Themed as a high-tech Avengers headquarter, kids can become the newest superhero recruits where they don their own suit and select from a variety of superpowers. There will also be new areas such as the Fairy Tale Hall where kids can visit Belle's Library or take Rapunzel's art classes. Royal Picnic with Olaf will allow kids ages 3 to 12 to join all their favorite Frozen characters on a summer picnic in Arendelle. Older kids may enjoy the Imagineering classes where they can design their own roller coaster. For the whole family, the Disney Wish ship will offer the first onboard ride and immersive family experience. The Aqua Mouse, similar to the Aqueduct on the other ships, is a Mickey and Minnie themed water slide. What's different about this slide is that it will feature music, lights, and other special effects not offered on a typical water slide. For the immersive family experience, you'll assist Captain Mickey in locating a shattered wishing star. Using your mobile device as an enchanted spyglass, you'll embark on quests and battle evil villains. Disney Wish has also updated its theaters. Rather than the large Buena Vista Theater on the other ships, you'll have available two smaller theaters called Wonderland and Neverland Cinema. Luna Theater has also been added, which resembles an enchanted fairy tale village and will be utilized for game and trivia nights as well as interactive experiences. Whether this is your first Disney cruise or your 20th, it looks like the new Disney Wish has something for everyone. From the tried and true classics to the new and innovative attractions, you probably can't go wrong taking a cruise on the Wish. So I hope Cruiseful was useful in helping you find your next cruise. Until next time!